Have you ever wondered why people act strangely around you? They want to say something, but the words don't come out of their mouths. Despite what you may think, it doesn't mean they don't like you. In fact, they admire your strong personality. If you can't relate to these characteristics, there is no doubt your personality is intimidating. Number 1. You prefer actions over words. People with an intimidating personality are aware that actions speak louder than words. They are proactive individuals who don't overthink and immediately get to work. This preference for action can sometimes make it difficult for them to tolerate small talk and can create challenges in socializing. The problem is that these individuals don't understand the purpose of endless discussions that don't lead to direct conclusions or results. As a result, they often become angry or dismiss the matter with cutting remarks, making others feel inadequate or incapable. Number 2. You don't seek approval. These individuals are not influenced by others' opinions. They know exactly what they want and go after it. They usually have great self-confidence and don't need others' approval or attention to feel good. However, these seemingly positive characteristics can have a negative side if taken to the extreme. In fact, those closest to someone with an intimidating personality often feel emotionally distant and perceive that their opinions and desires are not taken into account. On the other hand, vulnerability also acts as a social glue that brings us emotionally closer to others. Relying on and considering the opinions of our closest ones is also a sign of respect and trust that others sometimes need. Number 3. You are highly independent. These individuals are extremely independent and rarely seek help from others to solve their problems. Some even believe that asking for help is a sign of weakness. This characteristic is positive as it allows them to continue growing and developing resilience. However, in some cases it can lead to the mistake of pushing themselves too hard and reaching their limits. Asking for help is a sign of intelligence, not fragility. Sometimes all we need is another perspective, a helping hand to lean on, or simply someone to listen to us. Number 4. People quickly avert their gaze. This is a bit difficult to analyze since some people find it difficult to make eye contact due to shyness or other reasons. Setting that aside, if you notice that someone's gaze doesn't remain fixed, especially when you are talking, it can be an indication that you are unknowingly intimidating them. Number 5. You don't accept excuses. It bothers you to hear others' excuses for being late or not fulfilling their part of the work, etc. You believe that if you have made an effort to do things, others can do it too. Number 6. You are straightforward. You are not afraid to approach someone and let them know how they make you feel or if they said something offensive. People often ask you to deliver bad news because they know you can do it easily. You value honesty above all else and for many people this can be intimidating. Number 7. You are opportunistic. Having a strong personality also makes you open-minded. You usually see many more positive things in your path than others. The things that others see as problems, you see as opportunities. You handle situations better than others because your insight allows you to know what is coming. Number 8. You speak with purpose. There is a purpose and conviction in everything you say, no matter how trivial it may seem. When you tell something to someone, you need them to listen and understand it every time. Small talk is not your thing. You would rather sit in comfortable silence with an old friend than engage in trivial conversation with a stranger. Number 9. You admit your mistakes. You would never consider yourself a perfect person. Because of this, you are very aware of your strengths and weaknesses and you are not stubborn or immature when it comes to the mistakes you have made. Number 10. Intense language. 
You tend to respond with exaggeration and hyperbole when you are excited. You can see the funny side afterwards, but in the moment, you fully believe that the world is ending or about to become paradise. Number 11. You can read other thoughts and intentions. You also have a strong sense of intuition that allows you to form accurate impressions of people just by meeting them. Dishonest, ignorant or intolerant individuals don't escape your attention and you are not afraid to call them out and put them in their place when they misbehave towards you or someone else. Some may even feel jealous or envious of your wisdom, but this won't stop you from moving forward. <laughs>